it's Swiftkey, and welcome back to Corn Cross's Dead and Breakfast. And we are still sticking around this house. There's been crazy things happening. The rocker girl wants us to bring her back to life. We saw Gail. Oh, so many feels. But anyway, let's get back into it. So this is where we left off. It's the end of night four, and we are tired. So let's head to bed. And see what tomorrow brings. What is this next to our laptop? Oh, the spell of resurrection. I didn't even see that yesterday. It gives a specter of physical form. The not holy living, spirit will be visible to all. Gather these items in a circle and chant the word renascentium. Need ingredients. Five candles, chalk, rooted flowers. That's what the ghost Zed gave us as a list of things. Some of the text is missing. It's H dot dot dot. Hmm. It's your laptop. Status update from Kyle. We should, like, do something to memorialize Gail. Like, put a bench in the quad or something. Thoughts? Alright, yeah. Like, that's what this note said, right? That's not more girl. Sad. It's not Gail, is it? Is Gail gonna try to come back to life? I'd hope he would know better than that. Aw, Alex. Alright, let's go down and see that list, buddy. The shoes was supposed to leave us. Corin. I guess this is the list. Hey, Corin. Here's the menu for breakfast. Think you can get all the stuff together? Scrambled eggs, French toast, hash browns, banana pancakes, cheesy omelet, breakfast platter, milk, OJ, and coffee. I do not know the recipe for breakfast platter yet. I'm assuming that's the last one. I know it's a lot of stuff, but just do the best you can. I'll cook some stuff too, so it's not a big deal if you're missing a thing or two. Okay. So. We'll definitely do... We can get coffee, OJ, and milk, because you just buy them. Can make the hash browns because that only requires a potato. Scrambled eggs, I think, is egg and milk, so that's pretty easy to make. Uh, I feel like I should write this stuff down. Actually, I know a better thing to do. I will just take a picture of it so that's easy for me to access because guaranteed I'll get to the store and be like, what did I need again? Because my memory is not the best. All right, so... I don't know what you're gonna cook though. You didn't say. Oh, the TV's off. Thank you, sir. You have nine out of 10 recipes. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go out and see how our little garden is doing. We'll pop over and check the parlor just cause. Oh, Gail's not playing the piano today. All right. Out we go. No mail today, so no money, sadly. But some of our flowers are ready. These flowers look great. I should garden the flowers. Perfect. So we'll probably... We'll probably buy three more because it's day five, so they'll be ready on day seven. Just wondering if it's worth doing that because I won't exactly be able to sell them, but I guess it will be worth it. I mean, these guys are going to be, like, flowered tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Get some watering done. Watering always exhausts the crap out of me for some reason. We'll also sell these flowers to hopefully get enough money for all the breakfast stuff we need. All right, so we'll go to the hospital. Then we'll go to the florist to get some money. And we will go to the green grocer and start picking up stuff that we'll need for breakfast. I don't know if we're having that tonight. I think we're having that on the night of day six. I think. Oh, hello, Corin. Thank you for visiting me. Sure thing. How are you feeling? The doctor said my condition has slightly improved. He said being out of the house is doing me good. I'm glad to hear it. I suppose being alone in that place was just depressing me. I feel so empty without my family there with me didn't even have the heart to put away Gail's things. If there's anything I can do to help, you've already been a big help to me, dear. 
nice thing about grieving is that the only remedy is time. Oh, oh dear. That's my sister calling. Guess I haven't lost all of my family. Corn dear, would you excuse me? I'm terribly sorry. No problem, Mrs. Starin. I'll see you later. Alright. Then let's go to the florist to sell our flowers and buy more flower stuff. Sadly, we're only going to make $30 profit, but... Because I think... Everything you buy for a flower is $22, and they sell for $32, so you get $10 profit on every flower. Hey, Chloe, how's the life living going? Oh, corn, it's going great. I ate ice cream, did some knitting, and woke up at dawn to watch the sunrise. First two things sound awesome. Well, switch knitting with crocheting. I'm not very good at knitting. I can do it. Not great at it, but I do love crocheting. And I do love ice cream, but I do not love waking up at dawn to watch the sunrise. <laughs> It's nice you stopped to smell the roses. I'm a florist. I do that all the time. You know, if I was really living life to the max, I would quit this job. Don't like being a florist? Heck no. It's not like I wanted to be one. Thing is, my grandma started the store. Then it was handed down to my mama, then me. But isn't the store named after you? Exactly. She was the first Chloe. My mama was Chloe Jr. and I'm Chloe the third. Oh, wow. Business is alright, but sometimes I wish I could do my own thing. Maybe start a knitting business or something. Guess there's no such thing as a knitting business, though. Well, we could have, like, our craft store. I guess. That's all. Well, you could have a yarn store and then have, like, classes and stuff. Alright. Uh, actually, let's go back and sell the flowers we have first. Let's see. You have three flowers. How many do you want to sell me? Three. All right, so you're gonna sell me three flowers? Yes. Uh, 96 bucks, perfect. So, what can I get you? Uh, buy three to replace everything we just sold. And we're still up 30 bucks, so 87. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know if we have enough Hmm, I don't know if we have enough to buy everything that we need for the, uh, breakfast, but we'll get what we can. Alright, so, hey Dimitri. Oh, there we go. Hello, Miss Quan. How are you today? Feeling sad? Depressed? Huh? No, I'm alright. Dimitri wants to be sure Miss Quan is doing okay. Losing friend is always hard. Oh, Dimitri, you're so sweet. Dimitri doesn't mean lose friend like time I lose friend at shopping mall. And I cannot find him for 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, thanks, Dimitri. I'm okay. Gal's gone, but he's, uh, still around, I guess. <laughs> yes, spirit of Gal stays with us, yes? Uh, it is in Smiles of Children and Song of Bird Flying Through Sky. It is life all around us. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Now, what can Dimitri get you? All right, so let me consult my handy dandy picture of the stuff we need. We need scrambled eggs, French toast, hash browns, banana pancakes, cheesy omelet, breakfast platter, milk, OJ, and coffee. Why are these things so expensive? OJ, coffee, and milk are all atrociously expensive. Great. Potatoes cheap, so let's go ahead and get that. So you need that for the hash browns. Uh, scrambled eggs, I think, was egg. Let's, hold on, do I, oh, I don't have the recipes on me, do I? Ugh. No, I don't. Darn it. I don't even know how to consult the recipes. Food is fresh as ever, so buy lots. Yeah, um, we'll get an extra egg just in case, because I think you need egg for French toast too. Uh, nothing here needs bacon. Banana pancakes, so I guess you just need pancakes mix and banana? I don't know. Let's get the OJ. The coffee and the milk, because that's 
kind of stuff we need anyway. Cheesy omelette was cheese, eggs, and milk, I think. We'll get an extra milk, because we'll need that for the scrambled eggs at the very least. I've got lots of bread, so I don't need to worry about that. What are we doing for money? And we're actually doing okay. So let's get the pancake mix and a banana. And I can't remember if banana pancakes need milk or not. Or eggs. Uh, let's get another egg. Let's get another egg. They're only two bucks each. Uh, we'll get the cheese. We'll get another milk because I'm nervous. How many eggs do we have? Four. Get another egg. We can always come back tomorrow, so it's not a huge deal if I did forget something. All right, and we still have some money left over at 33 bucks, so thank you, Lauren. To make sure you appreciate your business. No problem. All right, let's go home and cook some things. Well, no, we should, uh, we should actually get the flour set up, and then if we have any time left over, we will. Because I'm pretty sure he said, like, two nights from now, right? I'm really hoping he did. Watering uses so much freaking energy, oh my gosh. Yeah, like I can't water anything else or put anything else down. I'll have to do that last flower tonight. All right, so that's the end of this day. Oh my gosh. Gardening just so hard. <laughs> so I can't cook anything, so we'll double it. Mm. Let's just go and check the recipes real fast. don't actually want to cook, I just want to look at these. So French toast needs egg and bread, okay. She's all that needs egg, potato, and cheese. Okay, so we need another potato. Um, banana pancakes, needs pancake mix, egg, milk, and banana, okay. Hash browns needs potato. Scrambled eggs needs egg and milk. So that's two of the milks taken with the banana pancakes and the scrambled eggs. Just French toast need milk? No, just egg. Okay, so I think all we need, one, two, three, four. I think all we need is another bake or another potato and we're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna quickly run back to the green grocers and grab that potato just in case we need it tonight. Uh, I'm hoping we don't but we will go do that anyway, just to be safe. Sorry guys, bit of running around. But a spirit hangs in the balance. Food discretion never so by lots, yeah, okay. I need potato, thank you. All right, and we're actually sitting at $30 even, which is kind of nice. All right, let's go home, get some sleep. Um, get that flour out, do some cooking, talk to the ghosts. See what's going on. I also need money to buy more candles for that renasticism thing. All right, let's try and get some sleep. Cause I'm sitting at zero percent energy. Uh, I don't know who this is. Wake up! What? Oh, it's you, angry teenager girl. It's Zara. It was her who left the note. Oh God. Oh, I was I was worried your name would be Alex. Oh, that's a pretty name. Whatever. How's it going? The spell? Did you gather up the items? Um, it's going all right. I'm working on it. There's one more ingredient you need. I scratched it out of the book because, well, it's what? What is it? It's hair. You need some of my hair to cast the spell. Okay, so just give me some. Uh, Corin, think harder about that request because she is a ghost and cannot give you the hair that you currently see on her head. You need hair from her corpse, dear. Yeah. 
Uh, hey, moron. I'm a ghost. You need real hair from my real body, not my spectral form. Uh, so... Your dead body? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Awkward silence. Dude, no! Come on, I know you know that old lady who runs a cemetery. All you have to do is find out where I was buried, get a shovel, and... Dude, Zara, I'm not gonna dig up your body, alright? But it's the only way I can get back to life. It doesn't bring you back to life, it just... Ugh. Will you just ask her? You don't know what it's like to be dead. I'm tired of this stupid B&B. &B. Can't even imagine what's happening to my band or my family or or oh just ask the cemetery lady, would you? Uh I really don't want to though. Uh, how are all my other ghosts doing? You in here, Alex? No? Did Alex cross over? No, she's not in here. I need one more recipe and I don't know where to get it from. Maybe shoes will have it. Oh! Hi. Why don't you talk to me? There we go. Oh, hey, corn. Hey, nice to see you up and about. What are you up to? Preparing for the breakfast. I've been reading cookbooks to try and find some new recipes. Here, I found this one. Ah, uh, yeah, 10th recipe. Oh my god, that recipe's horrible. Breakfast flatter. Combine pancakes, fried eggs, and bacon. Think you can manage that? Breakfast flatter? Sure, seems simple enough. Awesome. You know, I never realized so much goes into cooking. Look at all these steps. How do you beat eggs? What? You put them in a bowl and whip them with a whisk or whatever. You really don't know that? I've never cooked before in my life. Why not? I don't know, I just always... Oh, his wife always cooked for him. I just thought it was women's work. You sexist. <laughs> Anyone can cook, sir. You're kidding. What century did you die in? I know, I know. I just never realized how much work goes into a breakfast until I tried having one of my own. I should probably have helped my wife in the kitchen more. Yeah, you should have, you sexist jerk. Ah, oh, I got an achievement for getting like the full all ten recipes. That's awesome. I'm just kidding, Shoes. You are a bit of a sexist jerk, but you're our sexist jerk. Hey, Alex. Hi, Corin. Are you here to read? Maybe in a bit. What are you doing here? Just reading a book. What's it about, or don't you want to play? Oh, she doesn't always have to play. She can read a book if she wants to. I'm going to ask her what it's about. A book? What's it about? Huh? What? Really? Yeah, tell me what you're reading. It's a book of funny poetry. This guy's really good at rhyming. It's all these wacky stories. See, look at this one. Oh, I know this one. I loved these when I was a kid. Wow, really? I'm just like you. Cool. You're so nice, Corin. Nobody wanted to hear me talk about books before. See, I knew that was the right answer. Kids don't always have to play. They can be into reading if they want to be. I think it's great. Reading's important. I'm kind of a writer, you know? Wow, really? That's so cool. Can I read what you wrote? Oh, well, uh, it's not quite ready yet. I'm still working on it. I guess I'm not a real writer yet. I think you are. If you like writing, it doesn't matter if you finished a book or not. That's sweet of you, Alex. I like playing baseball. I think that's what I want to do when I grow up. So I'm a real baseball player. But I guess that's not going to happen. Huh. Oh, Alex. Alex. It, it's okay. Being a fun ghost is fun, too. Oh, Alex. Why you gotta give me the feels, girl? All right. We still got that. So we do need to get the stuff for the freaking breakfast platter. Dear God. Because he wanted me to make that. Uh, which means I can probably drop some of these things off the list. I don't know what he's making. If you're missing a thing or two, so can I miss two things and you'll pick up the slack? Cause that would be nice. All right, let's go. I don't know if Hermina will be around. 
because Zara wanted me to talk to her. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, boom. Dirt. Some seeds. And water. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, I know. Ugh, I forget the controls half the time. Alright. Mina, you out here, honey? Nope, you're totally not. Can I go over this way? Nope. Blue flowers decorate this grave. They look pretty in the moonlight. This grave's decorated with delicate lavender roses. Sweet red flowers decorate this grave. Blooming flower decorates this grave. Aww, the flowers are blooming. It's nice. Hermina's not even here. How am I supposed to talk to her about Zara's issue? All right, let's do some cooking, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll make the things for the breakfast platter. I don't have any bacon, though. I'm gonna have to go buy some tomorrow. Um, I think you needed pan or, uh, pancakes, fried eggs, and bacon. So I can make the fried eggs and the pancakes. So let's go ahead and do that. What do pancakes need? Mix and milk, okay. So, fried eggs. Pancakes. Alright, we'll make the hash browns. Uh, scrambled egg. Will I have enough for French toast? Yes. Scrambled egg. All right. Mm, I have enough for cheese omelet or French toast, but not both. Mm, make the cheese omelet, I guess. All right. So we have. Check this. We have the scrambled eggs. The French, did we make the French toast? We didn't make the French toast. So we still need French toast, which means we need another egg. We've got the hash browns. We need banana pancakes, so we're gonna need more pancake mix. We've got the cheesy omelet, right? don't have the breakfast flour, we need bacon. We're gonna need another milk. And we've got the OJ and the coffee. So I'll actually have everything, which is probably a little over ambitious, but that's fine. So, all right, so we need milk, pancake mix. Let's just double check what I need for paper. Cook. I need for banana, I need egg. Okay, because we still need, so we need one, two eggs. Bacon, pancake mix, is that it? Cause it's just the banana pancakes and the French toast I'm missing, right? Okay. So bacon, two eggs and pancake mix. And I should, oh, and one more milk. All right, I should be good. Let's pop up and see if Gail is there, I guess. Uh, is there anything going on here? Because I'm assuming that's where we're going to have the breakfast. No, there is not. I don't know what to do about that redhead girl, though. I don't have enough money to buy the candles. Which is concerning. Is she being grumpy in her bedroom? Nope. Alright, let's go up and see if Gail is there. Uh, he's not here? Oh, yes, he is. Hey, Gail. Oh, hey, Corn. Hey, Gail. What are you up to? I'm reading all the posts on my Insta face. Isn't that depressing? Not really. It's actually pretty fun. Check it out. Gail, I miss you so much. You are such a special friend, and I'll never forget you. What's so funny about that? We had one class together, and she called me Gary the whole time. <laughs> You're kidding. What a phony. 
Check out this one from Eric Reeves. He posted a selfie from my funeral. <laughs> no way! Classy. Jeez, Gail. I didn't get to go to your funeral. It's out of town. Sorry about that. Aw, you don't have to worry about that. I just... I'm really sorry you died, Gail. Thanks, Corin. That means a lot. I'm just glad I'm here now. <laughs> Look at me and Arana's status. status. I'm a hashtag! Hashtag for Gail Styron? Jeez. Right? <laughs> I don't think half of these people really mean what they say, but somehow, I still appreciate it. It's kind of nice. I mean, I think everyone really misses you. Even the phonies. Thanks, Holden Caulfield. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're really great, Corrin. I missed you when you moved out of town. I missed you too, Gail. I think you were the only one who read my articles in the school paper. They were great. You should definitely keep writing. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. I wish they would stop using these old pictures of me. Look how much acne I had. <laughs> it's not that bad. My skin finally cleared up and I had to go and die. Life, huh? Or I guess I should say death, huh? You're awfully chipper about all this. I always try to look on the bright side of things. No kidding. Hey, Corin, I better get going for now. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, okay. See you, Corin. Oh. So true, though, that whenever there's a death, people just, like, want to post about it all the time. I need to get into this locked door. What's behind you? I want to know. All right, I think that's pretty much all I can do tonight. So we still need to go to the green grocer and pick up some things. So we need to get candles, which are expensive. It's your laptop. Let's check Instaface. A message from Lisa. Corin, did you hear Gail died? Man, that sucks. I should have dated him. I mean, he was okay look good looking. Wall. Oh my god, you're awful. Corin, you have some rotten friends. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and save. So that's the night five. We only have two more days left, guys. Oh, I'm going to be so sad to finish this game. It's so cute. But anyway, if you are enjoying the series as much as I am, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate all of your support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.